Hello everyone and welcome back. As promised in this session, we will observe some solved problems on representations of binary numbers. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today we will observe four different solved examples on different representations. Consider the first question. Determine the minimum value in 6-bit sign magnitude representation. Basically, we will have to find out the smallest 6-bit number in sign magnitude representation. So, let's solve it. Now, for a 6-bit unsigned number, the place values would be 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 1, 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 raised to the power 4, and 2 raised to the power 5. Now, since this is the sign magnitude representation, therefore, the MSB will signify the sign. Now, in the previous session only, we learned that when this bit place retains 0, the number is a positive value. And when it is 1, the number is a negative value. Notice, we are to determine the minimum value. So, clearly, we will place 1 in this place, won't we? Now, in these remaining bit places, if we put 1s, then this entire structure will represent the largest negative number represented by 6 bits in sign magnitude representation. In other words, the minimum value. Let's calculate the value in decimal. So, with 5 bits, the largest value we can represent will be 1 less than this place's place value. Now, in case of unsigned, this place would have the place value 2 raised to the power 5 or 32. So, 1 less than 32 would be 31. And here we have placed 1 in the sign bits place. So finally, the value would be minus 31. Now we also could have calculated this value using the formula of range in sign magnitude representation. So we will just take the general representation. Now the sign bit being 1 signifies the negative value. Observe, minus 1 raised to the power 1 will result in minus 1, right? Now we were instructed to use 6 bits. So, n is clearly 6. This gives us 2 raised to the power 5 minus 1. Now, 2 raised to the power 5 is 32 and 32 minus 1 is 31. We also have to consider this multiplication. So, the end result would be minus 31. So, these are the two ways using which we can find out any value represented in sand magnitude form. In my opinion, the second way is the preferable one if we understand the derivation of this formula conceptually, which we have derived in the previous session. Let's now move on to the next question. Determine the maximum value in 8-bit once complement representation. So, let's find out. Now, with n bits, the range of values which can be represented in once complement representation is minus 2 raised to the power n minus 1 minus 1 2 2 raised to the power n minus 1 minus 1. Since we need to determine the maximum value, let's take the maximum value obtained using n bits, that is 2 raised to the power n minus 1 minus 1. Now, in this problem, the number of bits is specified as 8. So, here in place of n, we will put 8. So, we get 2 raised to the power 7 minus 1. Now, 2 raised to the power 7 is 128 and 128 minus 1 is 127. So, this is the maximum value obtained using 8 bits in 1's complement representation. Let's now move on to the next problem. Determine the minimum number of bits needed to represent minus 32 in 2's complement representation. Let's solve it. During the last session, we learned that using n bits, the range of values we can obtain using 2's complement representation is minus 2 raised to the power n minus 1. 2, 2 raised to the power n minus 1, minus 1. Now, we are about to find out the minimum number of bits required to represent minus 32. So, what we will do? We will take this minus 2 raised to the power n minus 1 and tally it with minus 32. So, minus 2 raised to the power n minus 1 will be greater than or equal to minus 32. If we cancel out the minus signs, it is implied that 2 raised to the power n minus 1 is greater than or equal to 32. Now, 32 is actually 2 raised to the power 5. This means, n minus 1 is greater than or equals to 5. Adding both the sides with 1, we obtain n is greater than or equals to 6. So, at least 6 bits are needed to represent minus 32 in 2's complement representation. Let's check it. 
We know that for a 6 bit binary number, the place values are 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 1, 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 raised to the power 4, and 2 raised to the power 5. Now we are using 2's complement representation, so the MSB's place value will be of negative magnitude. Now to represent the minimum value in 2's complement, we only have to place 1 underneath the MSB's place, and the rest will simply be all zeros. See? This gives us minus 32. So yes, 6 bits is the answer. Let's move on to the last question of the session. Determine the range of the numbers that can be represented by 10 bits in 2's complement representation. Let's figure it out. We will again use the range for this. Now here we are using 10 bits, so the least value would be minus 2 raised to the power 10 minus 1. And the maximum value would be 2 raised to the power 10 minus 1 minus 1. Now 2 raised to the power 9 is 512, so the least value is going to be minus 512. Coming to the maximum value, 2 raised to the power 9 is 512 and 512 minus 1 is 511. So using 10 bits, we can represent the range of numbers from minus 512 to 511. So in this session, we observed four different solved examples on different representations. All right, people, that will be all for this session. I believe the concepts of the sign number representations are clear to you now. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.